Hello everybody and welcome back to another battle report and we're going with more saga again. We're continuing our sort of mini campaign that's developed so I'm joined again by Robin who's brought the uh, the Vikings back and we're going to see what's uh, what happens uh, now that Egbert of Sudfield was so brutally cut down in our last game. As you can see we've already set up the table and we've got an interesting scenario for this one which is titled Desecration. Um, as always what I'll do I'll run through uh, the Warlords then I'll run through our forces, we'll go over the scenario and then we'll just get stuck into it. We've learned a few things from last time, mainly that I can't slow Robin down to very short with fatigue markers, only short, um, so there won't be any of that. Um, but also we're now taking slightly larger armies. But what I'll do, I will, uh, I'll take you over to those and we'll just have a look at them and get going. Right, so here is my Anglo-Danish force and you might notice it is no longer led by uh, the same model that I had last time. This is now led by uh, Bermond of Sudfield, who is the son, the firstborn son of Egbert of Sudfield um, in our little tale. Uh, upon hearing of his father's death, he was fighting over in, uh, in Francia and he is sped back to his father's lands, bringing with him uh, his own forces um, to supplement those that were decimated by the Vikings uh, that were left by his father. And he's bought some Frankish mercenaries with him as well. So that's going to be a bit of fun. Uh, so, yeah, so here we have uh, Bermond. Now, we've decided, or I've decided rather, rather than do what it suggests in the Book of Battles, which is just to replace the Warlord and give him a new name or, or even keep the same one and keep the abilities. This guy's coming in vanilla. So he is, he's got no abilities other than the fact he generates one Saga Dice, eight Aggression. He has a armor of four in melee and an armor of five in shooting, and that's because he's carrying the Danax. However, um, he's got all the other normal stats, but um, because he's fighting a Warlord with far more experience in him, he is going to get a handicap which is that at one one time during the game he gets to add one additional saga dice to his pool that's because robin's warlord has 11 experience um, and if you fight you know a warlord with vastly more experience then you get a better handicap um, however he should gain experience quite quickly and hopefully build up some uh, some points that i can spend on talents anyway with him he has bought um He's got unit of um, half guard, just armed with normal weapons. Another unit of half guard, um, armed with heavy weapons with the Dane axes. A unit of four um, uh, warriors. So I basically I bought two units of eight, and I've now divided that into a unit of four and a unit of twelve. We have a unit of levy archers at the back that are going to do something this time. And we have a group of Flemish mercenaries at the back. Now, this is the first time I've ever used these, even though I've owned these models for about six years. Um, they are... Ooh, they're, they're quite tough by what I can what, what I've read and um, they can't use advanced saga abilities because they are mercenaries But we'll see what's gonna happen. Uh, what we'll do now. We'll go and have a look at the Vikings okay. Right Robin, what have we got then? So I've taken pretty much the same forces last time. So I've got unit of Hearthguard, unit of Berserkers Three Ooh. three units of warriors and my killer levy with javelins these guys here and then my warlord He's got this little token next to him. So his the experience from his last battle, he's now got the uh, one heroism token, so once per game he can add to a dice roll and spend that token. If he goes up the levels, he'll get more tokens to spend. What's his name? Snorri? Is, uh, it? is it Snorri Ulfsson? Or... Ulf Snorrison. Ulf Snorrison. So <laughs> I got the wrong way around. Um, and I take it this unit are called something like Egbert's Bane. Yeah, now. Bane of Egbert. So your new unit is your heart is your Berserkers? Berserkers, yeah. Oh, okay, I'm not... Uh... Okay, that's I've been expecting you to take those, and uh, yeah, we'll have to see how, how this goes. So there we go. There are two six-point Saga Warbands. Now, the scenario that we are playing today is Desecration. Uh, this is in the Book of Battles, and uh, this scenario presents uh, basically a challenge whereby you've got to try and basically murder as many of the enemy as possible, but also keep an eye on the objectives that you have and destroy the objectives that the enemy have. So um, the, the way it works is it was universal uh, terrain setup. We've 
we've taken that a little bit and just just to make it match our story so um what we have in here we have a watchtower that's on the uh, um somewhere in the the former lands of egbert now burmans and um the vikings are are attacking both of us have three objectives um i have the stone cross here the objectives are actually these uh, little supplies here and i have the cart over here robin has the sheep in the field he has that cart over there with some supplies in it and he has that shaman doing something in the bushes um, at the back there um, and the way that the game works we have to destroy the opponent's objectives at the end of the game we count up massacre points but depending on how many objectives we we've destroyed those massacre points are capped so if we haven't destroyed any and uh, and we, we've murdered the whole enemy army we still receive no points for the battle so it's going to be interesting um terrain wise um we've got the, the watchtower we essentially just counted that as a, as a ruin um it seemed to make sense to us to have that there we've got the nice road coming through we've got a small wood over here and we have a small wood in the middle here these trees are just here for a bit of um flavor <laughs> for flavor and then we just have these bushes that are running along the sides of the, the fields which will count as obstacles um will slow our movement going through them uh robin chose to be the first player so robin has to divide his force into two he gets to deploy one half down then i deploy my entire force then he deploys his second half down and then he takes the first turn in that first turn he can't shoot or charge or use any advanced saga abilities uh, which are the ones on the you know the main ones on the board um but yeah we're um we're looking forward to it it should be should be interesting anyway yeah it's gonna be i have to actually focus on the mission or the the, the objectives because there's only what, five turns maybe roll for six that's it sorry yeah it's not a long time to be get caught up killing things no no i'm gonna have to forego revenge and actually play to my strengths i i think so what we'll do we'll get the uh the army set up and then we'll come back okay so here we go we are fully deployed uh robin you put your first group down and you sort of focused over here didn't you so what have you got i went with my berserkers kind of in the open just heading straight for the middle yeah where and else would they be doing two units of warriors on the flank on the flank okay and then i had to deploy my entire army so i've gone with my large group of um, anglo-danish warriors in the middle supported by the mercenaries levy on the flank with the bows warlord in the middle near his half guard um the other unit of half guard with the axes and the small unit of warriors are on the flank over here and now they're facing off against the bane killer unit yeah. yeah bane of egbert there they are what else did you pop over here? So, I mean, Levy to hold the flank. Um, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Only you. Levy to hold the flank, yeah. Uh, unit of warriors and then the uh, warlord slap bang in the middle in front of the shaman with the other unit of non berserk okay. half guard. There we go. So there is a board. Now, um, I should probably say that um, we can attack the objectives. Uh, the objectives have a armor of five and uh, they always throw twice as many dice in defense as we've scored hits. However, they don't roll any uh, any attack dice going back and you don't suffer fatigue to, for fighting them. So basically, I think you just need one failed. So oh no, they have a resilience um, objectives do. So um, they'll have a certain number of resilience points, which is... Okay, no, they don't have resilience so or wounds. So if you defeat it, it, it's gone. So there we go. So there we are. There is the, the battle lines all drawn up. This is uh, the biggest saga game, certainly, that I've played, I think. Yeah. Um, should we get stuck in? Yeah. Excellent. Let's go into Viking turn one. All right, Robin, so you got to roll seven dice. Yeah, it's the most I've ever rolled for a thing. Made, made using the activation pool pointless. Um, so obviously I can't use or trigger Saga abilities in my turn or shoot or charge. So I've put a couple of dice down onto a reaction for later. And then one dice into Hearthguards or Heroes, two into Warriors, one into some defence because obviously I'll be probably taking the first <laughs> blows of the game when you start shooting at me and then one one dice into activating levies. Excellent. So what do you want to activate first? So I'm going to go with my I'm just gonna go with my warlord first. I'm gonna go with the warlord first and he's gonna use Weir Bay 
to activate the hearth guard next to him. And they're just going to move on it. Well, that's what they can do, really, isn't it? Yeah, so. So he's using determination to go to there. And then they can move up. Okay, cool. Staying next to him. All right, what's next? I will go with my unit of levies. All right, what are you doing with them? So I just, dread to think. Just going to move up. Um, I think distance wise, they're probably yeah, just short of the. Okay. Just short of the hedge because that will slow them down crossing it next turn. Won't it, won't yeah. It? Come and jump across to attack you. <laughs> you can still sling your uh, your javelins over it though. Not this turn, I can't. Not this turn. Oh no, no. you're just going to wait and look at so, that objective. You could attack that objective at range as well. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. <coughs> so you just fill it with um, with javelins. Okay. Who's next? Uh, we're going with a unit of warriors. Right, which one are you just doing? Going right out to the flank. Oh, this lot up here, so he's yeah. Gonna come up. Uh, yeah, <laughs> off they go. Yeah. My next dice would also be this unit of warriors. Oh, okay, yeah, because doing both at the same time. Okay. Uh, so they'll they'll have the move. We can't leave this. Yeah, yeah. So they'll go so down to, to short. short. There we go. Should sure, remember my warlord doesn't. Get affected by that, does he? Because he glides through the terrain. Oh yeah. Well, I like, like I like, like what, I like what your warlord's doing is like he single-handedly heads towards <laughs> the largest group on the board. And all I've got left is one for a half guard. Is that your berserkers? It could just be my berserkers, and they're gonna. They are going to go away peacefully and uh, not get involved. They're gonna start really paying to get themselves worked up, ready to really stick it to this car. Right. <laughs> Excellent. Right then, so there we go. That is the end of the Viking turn because Robin couldn't do any, doing any attacking. Uh, so we'll go into the Anglo-Danish, turn one. Okay, so um, I've decided to put six of my dice into activations and I've just taken Intimidation. Uh, with one of the uh, the helmets that I've rolled with my rare. Um, so let's get into it. I think to start things off, I'm going to activate a unit of levy. So my unit of levy are just going to move up to the crest of the hill. They're probably going to get slaughtered, but I think I want at least one volley to come off. Okay, and um, I'm just going to say now, I'm just going to use my next levy dice to, uh, to shoot with said levy. Uh, where's the... The long and they are going to fire at that unit of warriors um so uh first I'm... of all we do the oh hang on if you got something yeah so i'm going to trigger odin yeah which is you'll still do your shooting but uh shooting reaction the shooting unit takes as much fatigue as necessary for it to become exhausted so you take three fatigue Ugh. Okay, oh, all right, yeah. afterwards. That's it, yes, you take them after. So, um, uh, let's sort out the combat pool. So, um, as archers, they generate one dice for every two chaps there. Um, I've got no fatigue on me yet for you to spend, because that comes on at the end of the action. Um, and I haven't got any saga abilities to spend, so I think I'm just rolling six dice, hitting on fours. So I've got a combat bonus. Oh, wait, I told a lie. Yeah, go on. So gain one attack or defense die, so I will use that because it has to be a shooting or yep. shooting reaction. I should have asked actually yeah, if you had anything you want to do. So you'll gain that to gain a, a defense die. Okay. Okay, so I'm looking for fours. That's uh, four hits. So you've got five five, five saves of four. Well, five chances of cancelling four hits on four. Uh, so I'll take one. Yep, yeah, you only take one. Because you only did four yep. hits. Yep. And then I take three fatigue. Yep. Brilliant. Um, I'm going to activate unit warriors. I think we will. Uh, well, we're going to activate the uh, the chunky unit here. They are going to move up and anchor themselves on that bit bit of wood a bit, so they can't get sort of flanked. They can just take a bunch of berserkers to the face instead. Okay. Um. Hmm. I'm going to activate a uh, uh, unit of half guard. I'm going to activate my Danax wielding lunatics at the front here. They're just going to move up to the hedge line. I'm going to activate another unit of half guard, and now said unit is going to charge into your levy. Uh, so they go, they lose one dice for going. Well, what well, dice? Sorry, they they go short, but they're going to go in. They're going to go into them because you're not actually defending no. the obstacle, are you? So. No. Um, 
they get the fatigue after the charge, but before they roll the dice. Yep. So um, we'll just move those over. And then we'll get rolling some dice. I'm not even going to give you the... I don't want to give you the chance to roll any javelins. I learned. Okay, so let's assemble the combat pools. You get one dice for every three men. I get two dice for every man. So I have a combat pool of eight. I have four. You have four. Um, start with me. Um, I don't have any saga abilities to spend. Um, I'm current. Your armor is three, and I, so I'm hitting you on twos because of uh, my Dane axes. My armor is four, and I've got one fatigue. So on I'm going to spend your fatigue to lower your armor to three. Yeah. Okay. Right. So I've got eight dice hitting on twos. Uh, six hits, and you're looking for threes. Okay, I need three saves of five. That's one, so two dead. You need six saves of five. Three dead. Three dead. Okay, so you've lost the combat and you're retreating. Okay, I'm now going to activate another unit of warriors. I'm going to activate this unit here, who are going to move up around the objective here and come and support their friends who are going to have loads of javelins thrown at them in the next turn. Uh, I'm out of activation dice, but I'm now going to use uh, the Warlord's um, We Obey. And that's a way through there, isn't it? Yeah. So we can get through that way. The, yeah, these ones. Yeah, that's not a wood. That, this one isn't a wood, is it? They're just there for decoration, so they can, they, can, they can move. Okay, right. Um, in that case, I think they're going to go to there. And then the Warlord is going to use his Determination. And he's just going to follow up behind. Like so. He's not going anywhere near those javelins. That's uh, that's that's not happening. There we go. That is it. That is the end of the Anglo-Danish uh, turn. I've got a knackered unit over there. And I've taken some damage here. But remember in this game, you've got to destroy... It doesn't matter how many opponent of the opposing models you kill. If you haven't destroyed some of their objectives... Then you don't. They're not going to count. So uh, let's go into the next Viking turn. Right then, Robin. What did you get up to? So still rolling seven dice. Went for. I didn't get many warrior activations. It's a bit annoying. So and they're nowhere near my warlord. So I've gone for a couple of warrior activations where I could. Uh, one for the levies. A couple into hearth guards and heroes because. Also, I need to do something about that massive shield wall in front of me, and then a couple of abilities that may or may not be useful, depending. Okay. On right, well, but just before you get going, I'm going to play one of my saga abilities as a reaction in your orders phase, um, and that is Intimidation. So the first unit activated during the next activation phase suffers a fatigue. However, because I've used a helmet, it's the first two units both suffer a fatigue. Okay. Who do you want to activate first? So. I'm going to do a manoeuvre. Oh, okay, right. Let, let me just check. So they can't ever... Oh, no, I don't think. So in a manoeuvre um, is you've got to be outside of L... Yes, actually. ...of a... I don't think it's going to be so. a thing. So... No. They might be all right back there. Oh, no, no. no, they're not. Oh, okay. So when the table's smaller than you yeah, think it is... Yeah, it, it is, actually yeah. ...actually get that distance from... Okay, okay, so I'm not going to do a manoeuvre. Uh, right, so first two units take... Take a fatigue. And fatigue. I'm going to go with a unit of warriors. And it's that unit of warriors back mm -hmm. there. And they are just going to be moving okay. straight. I'm not going to spend it. Right, we'll if if that's what they're doing, if they're yeah, moving, they're I'm not spending. Excellent. I'm going to activate a unit of levies. Okay. So they'll take a... And I'm going to um, just going to throw javelins at you. Okay. All right. I'm going to spend both your fatigue to cancel your activation. Yep. Unit of Hearthguard berserkers. Mm, now what are the berserkers going to do? I wonder. I'm going to pile in. Pile in. Okay. Okay. I hope you've got enough dice for this. <laughs> right. Well, let's get the dice. Start doing the dice. Well, so while Robin's counting them out, so I know. So they've got four attacks each berserker. So you're going to have sixteen dice. Um, I have 12 warriors, so I'm going to have 12 dice. Um, shall I close ranks? Um, I'm going to close ranks. 
So that increases your armor. Uh, it means that I count as being in solid cover. So my art, so I'm saving on fours um, in the battle. So you've got 16 dice. So uh, it starts with you. Are you doing any? I cause my armor's already only th mm -hmm. three, four, three, three. No, I'm not doing any. No, I'm, I'm not. You haven't got any fatigue or I haven't got any no. abilities to spend. So we'll call it there. So because I've closed ranks, I get half my dice. So I'm getting six dice hitting on threes because of their armor. Robin has 16 dice hitting on fours. 16 dice. 16. I, I don't know. Well, I think we've done that before. Yeah, in, yeah go for it. Seems to be quite a lot of fours in there. Oh, that was a three. And uh, must be nine then. Uh, no, sorry. Eleven. Eleven hits. Okay, I'm looking for threes. Uh, four. Okay, do, you, do, you, do yours, you need four saves of five. So they're all oh, dead. Okay. Okay, and then I need eleven saves of uh, four because I formed up. Oh, one second. So I'm saving on fours. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, five. So uh, six dead. Okay, so I've lost half my unit, and uh, Robin's unit's been destroyed. Now, is there is your warlord within short? Oh, so they started about no. No. Okay. Cool. They would have been... No, they would be. No, it's fine. So let's so one, two, six. But you have lost the saga dice now. Okay, so they weathered the uh, the berserker shot. Well, half the unit's dead. Uh, Robin, what do you want to do now? I'm gonna activate a unit of half guard. Okay. I assume you mean so these. The we obey distance is short. Short. But their activation, they're coming there. Okay. I'm then gonna use the warlords we obey to activate them again. Okay. So, is this charge? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, are you spending there? I don't think spending fatigue will do anything. No, 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 they can charge. Excellent, right. So, another round of combat. Mm. So, yes, you get uh, two dice per warrior. So, you've got eight. I get one dice per warrior. So, I've got six. Um, I'm not going to close ranks this time. Uh, what do you want to do? What do you want to start with? So, my R currently is five. Yep. I'm going to reduce my armor by one. Okay. To Heimdall to gain five attack dice. Okay. So potentially, I actually should have done that probably with the unit that were gonna yeah. die before just to get the maximum. Okay, so your armor is now four. Yeah. Um, I will spend. I'll spend your fatigue to raise my armor to five. I'm gonna spend my no your fatigue to raise my armor back up. The five. five. Okay, so we're both hitting on fives. You've got eight dice, I've got six dice. I've got 13 dice. Nope, you have 13. <laughs> Come on in, Robin. 13 dice, looking for fives. Four. Oh dear. Okay, I'm looking for six dice, looking for fives. Uh, two. two. Okay, okay uh, I need four saves of five. One, so three dead. You need two saves of five. One. One dead. Uh, okay, so... Draw, but I lose because I... Uh, no, I still lost. You killed three. Oh, sorry, yeah, sorry. But the unit's still here. We fall back. We only need to move forward. So I've, uh, I've, I've lost quite a lot of that unit, so they're not generating Saga dice anymore, um, but that has now left a gap for the Flemish mercenaries to move into. So uh, let's see what Robin's going to do next. Unit of warriors. Okay. These guys here. Yep. Yeah. Getting up, worn out. <laughs> and then I'm going to use the, and then I'm going to use the Warlord's Determination. The yeah. Button. And he is just going to move this, oh actually, he he's going to charge, that's my objective. No, no you can charge it, that's fine, <laughs> that's fine. He's going to move up next to them. All right, cool. Because the manoeuvre has to be their first activation, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, they're only, yeah. And they've already activated, yeah. so now I'll clear the space. But no, no. That so is, is that it? Me done. Yeah. So that is the end of Viking turn two. So it's been a bit of a push in the middle. Um, I'm gonna have to try and do something on over on this side, I think. So let's go into the second Anglo-Danish turn.
Okay, so um, I rolled my six Saga dice because I lost one because um, quite a lot of my uh, warrior unit has been destroyed, so they're not generating one now. I've put everything into warriors and uh, half guard. I haven't bothered to put anything into levy. I know they're about to face down and attack, but they're still going to be there to soak something up. Um, he's got to deal with them. I have put uh, one into Crush the Weak and into Determination, because I need to think I need to make some a push for some objectives. Um, and the first thing I'm going to activate is going to be my half guard. So this unit of half guard here are going to charge that unit there. I take it you're not going to spend it because you know they're in range. Yeah, because we know how you move. Okay, actually. so if we do you want to close ranks? No. Nope. Okay, so we assemble the attack pools. I get four dice. Three dice. You get three dice because it's one, uh, one dice for every three uh, members, and you've got nine, haven't yep. you? Nine there. Okay, so starting with me, so I am going to play the ability Crush the Weak. Um, if the enemy unit has an armor of three or less, gain four attack dice or defense dice. I will gain four attack dice. So I'm on eight now. <laughs> what do you want to do? Uh, I will spend your fatigue to lower your armor to three yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. okay so you've lowered my armor to three um so i've got eight dice hitting on twos you've got three dice hitting on threes i'm going to rely on your bad i'm not going to wipe you out i'm now going to play but i'm going to get i'm going to play determination uh gain three attack dice or defense dice or any mix of the two um, and you haven't got any fatigue on you, so I don't get the bonus at the bottom of that. I'm going to do an. I'm going to. I'm going to put it all into attacks. You, you uh, oh no! I started with. I, no, I started with um, four, yeah. didn't I? So I can't do a double, double. So no. So I won't you spend that. Spend it, yeah. I won't spend that ability. That's why I had that fifteen dice. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I won't spend that ability. So yes. Yeah, so I've got eight dice hitting on twos. You've got three dice hitting on fours. And I'm looking for twos. That's all of them. One got uh, I think I'm on threes, aren't I? Because you're four. I spend your fatigue. Yeah, so I'm four normally, and then you're hitting on threes. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. So you're hitting. Yeah, that's enough. Two. Yeah, that's enough. Okay, so I need two saves of five. No, so I've lost two. You need eight saves of five. Four. Four. Okay, uh, but they're not generating the saga dice no, anymore either. Okay, right. Um, hmm. I'm going to use We Obey, and I'm going to activate this unit of uh, half guard here. And they are. Is that going to contact? No, it's not why the. <laughs> I'll have to use another activate because they won't all contact. So I'm going to come out. They're half guard, aren't they? Yep. Okay. Um, and now I'm going to use Determination. To move my warlord, uh, I'm going to activate some warriors. So I'm going to activate my Flemish mercenaries, and they are going to charge. Yep. I just realised um, that they only—I forgot—they only move short because of their uh, their heavy shields. Um, so they've actually only made it to there. So there is no combat with them um, until I use the next dice. <laughs> so I'll activate unit of warriors. Now I'll charge, and they've generated a fatigue on themselves. Okay, so now we'll do that again. So I get eight dice as, sta as starting. You get six dice at starting. Um, do you, you take it you don't want to close ranks? No. Um, I will raise my armor to five using your fatigue. And I will raise my armor to six. Yeah, you can do that, yep. Okay, so I have eight dice hitting on sixes. You have six dice hitting on five. Right, looking for sixes, just the one. You're looking for fives, two. Now this is where the Flemish mercenaries come in. They have a um, a save of four because they always count and be in solid cover because of the big shields. No, so it has to awful. So two of them are dead. You need a single save of five. Wow. One of yours is dead. I've lost the combat. There we go. It's two of mine are dead. And then they back off. And we both take a fatigue. Um, I'm going to activate uh, a unit half guard. No, I'll tell you what. I'll get a chick in this. I'm just going to charge your warriors and try and get rid of a, an easier saga dice. 
I'm gonna fight you, end up fighting your warlord anyway, but yeah, it's gonna be some. Yeah, I know, I know, it's gonna be interesting, isn't it? Egbert might not make it. I have to start having skulls from... on my base. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Uh, right then, so let's do it. So um, let's assemble the attackables. I take it you're not closing ranks. No, no. Okay, so I get eight dice for my warriors. You get four dice for your, uh, sorry, for my half guard. You get four. Um, I am going to spend your fatigue to raise my armor to six because these are not these ones don't have dang yeah, axes. Yes, I'm going to do the same. Okay. No, no, I'm going to lower yours to five. Okay, all right then. Um, in that case, I will. Um, I'm going to spend determination, gain free attack dice, or uh, well, basically any combination of attack or defense dice. Uh, you didn't have any fatigue on you at the time that I played this, so I should have done that at the oh, start. You did that at the start you? It's all right. It's all right. Um, so I'm going to gain two attack dice and get one defense dice. Have you got anything else? No, nope, I'm done. Okay, so one that's all said and done. I've got ten attacks hitting on fives. You've got four attacks hitting on fives, yeah. and I've got one defense dice to come. Okay, hit on fives. Oh my god, it's rolling. Just one. Oh, None. Nothing. Okay. Uh, you no, need. Fine. Yep. You just need to save five. Oh. So one dead. That's a saga dice gun. That's not. Oh, is it only one half guard in the unit too? Yeah, yeah. Half guard. Any oh. size uh, generates saga dice. So he retreats though. So he's going back towards your your warlord. That's not what I wanted to. I wanted to destroy them to put a fatigue on your warlord. Yeah. Start pushing a little bit. But now we've both got a fatigue. Um, right, um, that is the end of the Anglo-Danish turn. So what we'll do, uh, we'll get going um, and see what's going to happen. It's a bit up for up in the air at the minute. Turn two. Yeah, oh, it's turn two, and like been, most of the armies are dead. I know. Right then, let's see what's going to happen now. All right, then, Robin, what did you get? All right, well, I'm down to five dice now, which. There's a lot, still a lot of stuff on the board that made it tricky. So all I've done is, wasn't a great roll, a couple of activations into Warriors, and then a couple of abilities to try and do something in combat, try and make a bit of space so I can get to these objectives with my second wave of Warriors, hopefully. Yep. Okay. So um, what do you want to start with? I'm going to start with actually using uh, Weir Bay. So what's he doing? He's charging. Yep. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm not going to close ranks. Okay, so uh, you're going to get two dice. I'm going to get eight dice. Are you using any abilities? So I'm going to spend your fatigue to lower your... My armour. Armour to four. Okay, I'll spend yours to raise it back up to five. Okay, and I'm going to use Valhalla. Yep. So it's remove one to three warrior half guard figures from unit, gain three attack dice per figure, but I can only gain two because I can only double my... Yep, so you're rolling four attack dice, basically. Okay, are you doing anything else? No, nope, that's all I've got. Okay, so I've got eight dice hitting on fives. You've got four dice hitting, also hitting on fives. That's not Okay. Ideal. There's no point in me rolling. Oh, yeah, no, there's not. You're dead. You, your guy just killed himself. Okay, excellent. Um, Your warlord takes a fatigue. Fatigue, yeah. Okay, yeah, it makes the sacrifice seem a little bit... Uh... <laughs> so there we go. So, okay. okay, right. Um, I'm going to activate a unit of warriors next. Okay. Which unit are we activating? Uh, this one just over here. Oh, I keep forgetting about them. And they are headed... Oh, they're heading over here towards the cart. Headed this way. Now the levy have done, you know... Done their thing. The hard work. This is the same unit of warriors that was following the levy last time. <laughs> Excellent. Another unit of warriors. Okay. Is it going to be the guys we on the hill? We are just going to smash into your... Okay. You're just going to charge me uh now because i'm exhausted so many husbands in hand-to-hand combat two seconds
Okay, so I was only rolling four Saga dice to start with, but I managed to roll the rare, um, the helmet, and uh, use my activation pool to uh, roll two of my inactive ones just to try and get a bit of a bonus. So um, I've spread my activations uh, across my Warlord because I haven't got any half card left, some Warriors and my Levy. Might as well try and get some shots off with them before they die. And um, I've also taken Lord of War and Determination, because I think I'm going to get stuck in with my Warlord. So the first thing I'm going to do is activate my Levy. So I'll get them to shoot at them. Yeah, I'm going to cancel that with the activation. Okay, brilliant. Oh, well, at least they're not tired anymore. <laughs> they can die. <laughs> well rested. Well rest. I'm going to activate my Warlord with Determination to rest. Remove that. And then I'm going to activate him with one Saga Dice. And he is going to charge your Warlord. He wants revenge for his father. There we go. So, let's work this out. I get eight dice. You get eight dice. <laughs> I have a Dane Axe, which means that your armor, which is normally five, is four. However, you are also, you've got a lot of um, fatigue on you. I take it you're not closing ranks against him? No. No. Uh, my armor is four. So it's me to start. So all of Robin's attack rolls count at minus one because he's exhausted no matter how much I spend now. So your armor counts as four. So I will... I'm going to spend one of yours to raise my armor to five. Which is effectively... You haven't... If you've got anything, you haven't got, anything. You've got nothing you can do. So I'll raise my armor to five. Um, I will lower your armor to three, and I will lower your armor to two. So I've got eight dice hitting on twos, and you've got eight dice mm -hmm. hitting on fives, but you're minus one because you're exhausted. So you've got eight dice hitting on sixes. It couldn't actually be any worse. No, but I have spent all your. I, I've taken risks because I've spent all your fatigue. Um, whereas I only needed to put one hit on you before. That to get rid of, to yeah, get rid of you, so yeah. I might have made a mistake, but we'll see. Do you know what? I want to make sure you die, so I'm going to use Determination and add three attack dice to my pool. So I've got 11 dice hitting on twos. 11 dice hitting on twos. That's 10. Right, and you've got eight dice hitting on sixes. That's uh, none. none. <laughs> so you need 10 saves and five. And there's no units around him. If I make this, am I declared just king of... <laughs> well, you, you, yeah, we, we, we just pack up the board and go home. He's My guy's gone in screaming, Egbert! But, uh... I think... Uh, you made... No, four. six. Okay. So... So it'll be three for two. So, Bo, so, Bermond has avenged his father. There we go. Okay, and uh, I take a fatigue. And then I could just play Lord of War to get rid of it. But to be honest, I don't really think there's anything there that's threatening him, particularly. Right, back to the board. Um, I am going to activate a unit of warriors. I'm going to activate these guys here. And they are going to move to here. Because the cover that's impossible, isn't it? Yep. That's a really bad plan. Why am I doing that? You can just throw stuff at it. Um... Do you know what? I'm not actually going to activate. Is that all right? Do you mind? Yeah. Is that so? I'm not actually going to activate those. I'm going to activate my Flemish mercenaries. Can you, turn... oh, you, you use that for the mercenaries? Oh. Okay, so we just double checked, and it looks like um, they can use We Obey. Um, so they are going to move. Actually, first of all, no, they're going to use We Obey to uh, to rest. No, I don't know. I don't know. No, they'll use We Obey to move. So there. You know what I'm going to do next, don't you? Sure. I am. So I'm going to use that dice that I was originally going to use to them, and they're going to go and attack your objective. Yeah, no Even though, can you, can you bring it down to bring the movement down once? Because they're already short. Can they still have their movement? I know you'd be no, in range anyway. No, you, you, can, you can't. can't. No, that's move. it. Yeah. yeah, so you can't reduce it below short, which was the little mistake so, we made last time. That's, that's one thing, actually. So their fatigue can never be spent. To... No. So um, I get eight dice, um, and uh, I can't remember what the armor was. Did I say, was it fives? Okay, so it does have an armor of five. That's uh, three hits. So yeah, as per the rules, he gets twice the number of dice. But it's six attempts to save. 
three hits. It's gone. No. Okay. So that's been that's been destroyed. It doesn't generate any. It doesn't generate any fatigue, does it? Um, so that is one objective. What I'll do is I'll pop it over here. So it's one objective to the Anglo Danes. Um, okay, so that's the end of the Anglo Danish turn. So let's go into the fourth Viking turn. <laughs> so, Robin, what have you got? Not a lot. Um, what else are on three saga dice? So all I've done. One dice into levy, two dice into warriors, which is annoying because I've got three f almost full units of warriors. Yeah. And then um, <clears throat> one dice into just a melee ability. So the thing is, as well, you've got no Wii of A left now. No, so mo moving stuff for free is now. What do you want to start with? I'm going to start with the levy. Okay. What are levy doing? Moving and then lobbing the so javelins? I'm going to move and chop the javelins. So that should be defending this hedge line now because we're closer to it. Okay. So they're going to get two dice? Three, because every two for them, isn't it? Uh, one for every two, yeah. That's right, yeah, two dice, three. Oh, we're rounding up, so three. Yeah, yeah, is it rounding up? I think it's rounding up. Yes. Yep, yes. okay. Excellent, oh. okay. So three dice hitting on fours. Oh, you're throwing it at the objective. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it sorry. It. I thought you were. Um, no, no. Sorry, I thought you were throwing it at my guys. No, no, I'm throwing it. At you. Okay. Yep. No worries. Okay. So it's sixes for shooting against the objective. Oh, There's a one hit. So two saves. One save. Yeah. Double the. Oh yeah. yeah sorry. Yeah. Two saves. Yep, it's done it. And we've just realised as well, um, so you might have noticed this earlier, we forgot that javelins um, in hand-to-hand -hand combat suffer a minus one modifier to hit, uh, which we didn't apply, but never mind. I That's did roll like nine hits. You did roll a lot. lot. I think so I rolled a lot, so it doesn't it, it doesn't. I know you matter. only rolled one hit. Yeah, no, well, it's just one of those things. Right. What's next? A uh, unit of warriors. Okay. I'm going to go with these guys. Yeah. I'm actually going to charge... Yeah, I'm going to try. I'm, I'm going this way. I'm going to try and charge, but obviously I've got. Yeah, I'm fatigue. going to spend your fatigue to lower your movement. Okay, I'm going to use my other dice to activate them again. Yeah. So the fatigue will come back, but I'll have the. It'll come back before. So 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 hang on. So you move. So they go very short. Uh, short or sorry, short to there. So, yeah. And, and then, then I activate then them again for a second fatigue. Yeah. And that comes in. At the point now. At, yeah. Now. Okay. Okay, uh, I will not close ranks because I'd count as um, defending cover. So you're going to get five dice, I'm going to get three dice. Oh no, six dice. Sorry, six. You get six dice. Defending cover gives you plus one to save, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm saving on fours. Not so I'm going to raise my armour using your fatigue. To five? To five, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to raise mine to five using your fatigue. So I've got five. I've got three dice hitting on fives. You've got six dice hitting on fives. Unless you've got anything else you want to do. Yeah, I've done it in the wrong order. Yeah, yeah okay. So I'm going to spend this. I'm going to gain three attack dice. Okay, what's that? Uh, so it's frig. Okay. Which is remove fatigue from your unit or gain three attack dice. But obviously I want to spend your right. fatigue. Right. So. Okay, cool. Right then. Uh, you've got nine dice hitting on fives. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. I've got three dice hitting on fives. None. Uh, so I you, I yeah, you time. withdraw. That was a yeah. That was a, a tad anti anticlimactic. I was using, I was using my dice, doing nothing. Okay, so that is the end of the Viking turn. Um, I don't think that went according to, to plan. Uh, no. <laughs> no. Well, we, it's because our forces have just been decimated uh, quite early on. So let's go into the next Anglo Dane turn. Okay, so I still had one on the board, the Lord of War. I managed to roll the rare again and roll two more dice. So I've loaded up on activations and I've also taken Crush the Weak. Um, so what I'm going to do first of all is activate my levy. My levy are going to shoot at your uh, chap set. So I'm going to get three dice. Um, I haven't got any fatigue or anything for you to no. spend. And I haven't got any Saga abilities to activate. So I've got three dice hitting on fives. Nope. Pointless. I'm going to activate a unit of warriors. This unit of warriors is going to charge them. Now they're defending the obstacle. So they're going to count as being in solid cover. So they're saving on fours. So there's no point in closing ranks. 
Okay, so I've got four attacks. Um, I'm hitting on your armor three, aren't you? Because you're minus one. Um, so I will, I'm gonna use the ability Crush the Weak, which gives me four extra defense dice if your armor is three or less. So I will take four attack dice. Um, you haven't got anything you can do no. to me, have you? In that case, I'll use your fatigue as well to reduce your armor further to two. So I've got eight dice hitting on twos. You've got two dice hitting on fours. Uh, five. Did we change that to two? I oh, know. <laughs> None. None, so you need five saves of four because you're in solid cover. Three, Three dead. Still two left. That's still one javelin. Right, let's go over here. Right, um, I think I'm going to use my Warlord's We Obey. Uh, sorry, not We Obey, Determination. He's going to rest. And then I've got two dice on there. I'm going to activate him twice. So first activation. It's going to be a move. Um, so there. And the second activation, he's got a fatigue on him. Do you want to use it? Yeah, I'll shorten it. Okay, so you're going to shorten it because I think you've worked out what I'm doing. Yeah. It's going for the end zone. There we go. That shaman's looking at this guy going, running towards him. Okay, that's it. So we're now on to Viking turn five, which could be the last Viking turn. Um, after my next turn, we roll to see if the battle carries on. Um, let's just see what's going to happen. Okay, Robin, do you, do you want to explain what, what happened? So I've got three units of warriors on the board, and three Saga dice, and I rode all B runes, which you can't use to activate warriors. So all I can do is lob javelins and make faces at you. <laughs> okay, There's not so... not even any abilities that I can use. Right, so what do you want to do then? I'm going to activate my levy. Okay, what are they going to do? Throw javelins? They're just going to throw javelins and I have a combat pool. Okay, so you're going to get one dice because it's one dice for every two men. Yeah, and then I'm going to double that. And then you're going to use your combat pool, pool double it. Um, I'm going to use your fatigue yep. uh, to increase my armor to five because you can't spend my fatigue in a shooting attack. Nope. So you've got two dice hitting on fives. I'm saving on fours because of cover. Oh, I got a hit. And a single save of four. Yep. Okay. And you've got one activation left with them. Is it just? Is I'll it another? Do the same thing again. But do I the same get again. One dice this time. Um, but you get the fatigue after the the shooting. So it's yeah. just one dice hitting on a four this time. No. No. Okay. Hmm. Is that that's the end of the <laughs> the Viking turn? Because yeah. there's nothing, every nothing can manoeuvre because it's all within L. Oh, you were just really unfortunate there. Yeah, I mean, just on the just roll. One. Just being able to. Charge something to make a yeah, hard that was unfortunate. That's well, what, then, what you roll. let's go into what possibly could be the final turn of the game. Um, let's see what's gonna happen. Okay, so, um, I basically rolled a um, bunch of axes and I got the rare, so I rolled the activation pool again and I got even more axes. So I've decided to take the shield wall ability just in case we go into another turn and I've got to fend off those javelins again. I've put two dice into some warriors and I put a dice in for my warlord. Uh, but the first thing I'm going to do is activate my warlord using determination. And he is going to charge your ob objective, who's the, the shaman at the back. He, he will charge and um, I get just get eight dice. Okay, so I've got eight attacks. I reduce its armor to four. And I got two hits, so you get four saves, four saves of five. Yes. Uh, yes, because you only hits. needed two, didn't you? Okay, damn. Uh, you don't take fatigue, though. I don't take any fatigue. That's good. Okay, well, look, basically, I'm just going to use that one again to do, do the very same thing again. Uh, oh. Five hits, so you've got ten, ten dice. Saves. Ten saves of five. Uh, no, I need, you need five saves. I need five saves, didn't I? You've done it. I've done that, haven't I? You've done it. Yeah. Oh, I don't believe it. I mess with the gods. <laughs> okay, so uh, I actually have to back off. Yeah. Okay. That's 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 annoying. Right. 
that's really flummoxed me now. I don't quite know what to do. Um, I will activate uh, unit warriors. Uh, basically, I am going to move my Flemish mercenaries back um, to defend a little bit. I think I need to consolidate yeah, it'd be, it'd be here. Yeah, it'd worse for you if I get an objective now. Yeah. Than you can do by killing things, I think. Like. Exactly. Exactly. Um, and I will also... I'll activate unit warriors again. I'm going to bring this unit back. Um, are you going to reduce their movement? Uh, yeah, I will do. So you will. Okay. So they're going to come to here. There we go. So... Um, that's the end of uh, of my turn, and um, we've got a roll now to see if it goes on to a turn six. So, Robin, do you want to roll? So, four, five, or six, and we're playing another turn. I hope it does. Yes. We are. So, let's go into Viking turn six. Okay, Robin, so was it a bit better than last time? Yes. Um... Got some warrior activations, a couple of abilities, because I'm just basing everything around revenge now. <laughs> okay, alright. So, where do you want to start? We'll start with some warriors. Okay. And then Which come, warriors are we starting these ones with? over here. Yeah. And just coming this way. Okay. Are they going to be going again? Yes, they are. Okay. <laughs> right then. The funny thing is, because they'll only charge, then they're going to activate again. Okay, so you can spend that other dice, yep, yeah, and then they're going to charge. And they'll only go short because of the... that they'll get in. I assume because crossing the... Yeah, and then they get the fatigue the um, at the end of the movement, yeah. yeah. The funny thing is, I'm only in range for that charge because you bounced off my objective. Because <laughs> I wouldn't have made it if, if, it, you, oh, get, if oh, you destroyed see, it and yeah. we're standing, yeah. and we're standing oh, okay, there. Okay, so they're all, they're all coming for him. All right then, okay. Okay, so I've got eight dice, you have eight dice, it's you to uh, pick first. So I'm going to Frig to remove a fatigue, no, to gain three attack dice. Okay, um, I'm going to use your fatigue to raise my armour to five. And then, oh, I just took it off, I'm sorry, I'm going to use Heimdall. To reduce my armor by one, so we're down to threes, mm -hmm. to gain five dice because that doubles my attack pool then from eight. Okay. To 16, my Dane Axe is going to make that twos. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to use Shield Wall to make my armor six. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you've got however many dice, 16, 16 dice. dice hitting on sixes. I've got eight dice hitting on twos. We're exactly polar opposites. <laughs> okay, go for it then. You're looking for sixes. I've made his berserkers. Four. Oh, so I guess that's actually... So there's a chance. Yeah. Okay, I'm looking for twos. That's uh, eight. eight. Okay, so I need four saves of five. That's uh, two, so he's just going to take two fatigue. And you need um, eight saves of five. Okay, three. That's a three dead. Okay. I still lost the combat though, so... <laughs> yeah. Okay, I and thought then, I'd lose. So he took two, and then he took one for the combat, and then you just take one for the combat. Just there. Excellent. Annoying if I'd have exhausted you. Oh, you are exhausted. I am exhausted, oh, yes. Handy. Okay. Um, no, that's all I've got. Is that it? Yeah. Is that the end? That's the end of the Viking game. Um, let's just go to the final Anglo Dane turn and just try not to do anything stupid. Okay, so I've not done too bad. Um, I've thrown everything into activations. I've put two in there for the Warlord, three in for the Levy, and I've just put a combat bonus in. So we'll go with the Levy first. Uh, so first one, I'm going to uh, activate with a shooting action. So they're going to shoot at them. Now, obviously, I get three dice. There's no modifiers to anything. I haven't got any abilities I want to use. Have you got any abilities you want to use? I haven't got any fatigue yet. You can't so, spend... No, I can't spend yours. So I'm hitting on fours. Three dice hitting on fours. That's uh, one save of four. Yep, saved. Um, I'm just going to stay here. I'm going to activate again, um, which will generate a fatigue. Are you going to then so use that I fatigue? I can spend that to raise my Yep, so I'll hit you on fives. Nope, and then I'll do my last one, which will put another fatigue on me. Save again, fives. Okay, so same again, fives. 
Oh, no, it goes on after the action, doesn't oh, it? Yeah, okay, so... So the first one would have been fours, but I, I missed anyway. I think I rolled all threes. Yeah. Um, and then I'd have needed five for the yeah, second one. Yeah, you would have finished one because so, you'd have... And then, that's you, fine. And then you'll finish on one. I'll finish on one for two. You couldn't have spent that. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so let's go with the Warlord. He's going to use Determination to rest. Um, and then I'm going to activate him using one dice, and he will charge. I'm going to cancel that. Okay, but I've still got one dice left, so he will charge. Okay, so I've got eight dice. Um, I've got a Danax, so that puts its armor down to four. Um, I'm going to use my act my combat bonus because um, that's not an advanced cyber ability, just to add one dice. So I've got nine dice hitting on fours. And I got four. So you have eight dice to cancel four hits, saving on fives. He's done. Uh, oh, no, no. That's it. So I destroyed it. And then just to end everything, I'm going to do Lord of War. Uh, and he's going to stand there, composed. Won't have any fatigue. He hasn't got any fatigue on him. Really. But that that is it. Um, I think that the Danes have got it. But let's uh, let's work out what the points are. Okay, so that was a very, very bloody affair. So remember, this was on Massacre Points. So um, I we've totaled up. I got a total of 22 Massacre Points. Um, a big chunk of that is the Warlord. Um, and Robin got 18 Massacre Points. Um, and however, this is affected by the number of objectives we had to destroy. So there was a cap, in fact, if I'll show you in the book. You can see here, you look at the enemy objective markers and it shows you what the cap on points is. So, um, as you can see, Robin, there were three intact enemy objective markers, so his massacre points are capped at 10. However, there's only one of the Viking ones left, so mine is capped at 24. So the final result is 22-10 to the, to the Anglo-Danes, which um, it wasn't the way I thought it was going to go. I've got, I've got to be honest. Um... What do you think of that, Robin? It's a different scenario. Oh, hard scenario. <laughs> well, I kind of feel like we were I mean, playing catch-up. Spent too much time killing stuff at the start. Well, I think we both did. Yeah. By the end of turn two, there was less than half the army left on either side. Yeah, they're running out of dice really quickly. Do you think we should have maybe kept things in reserve a little bit? Yeah, well, so I did keep something in reserve and then ran out of Saga oh, dice. Oh, yeah. No, they're there again. I ran out of Saga dice to actually do, anything do with stuff them. with it. Because at that point, you're like, oh, okay. But now I need to use the three dice I've got to attack the units in front of me. It's too late to bring... It's a hard... Um... I think... You see... I don't know how I play it any differently, really. My, my idea was to have this kind of core group in the middle that was defending and then send little groups around the outside. But it ended up being the core group that was going after the objectives in the, um, in the form of the Warlord. Um, although yeah. you had resounding I, success to start with. Know, I had a similar idea, though, because I was... I didn't set up I had two units there, I, my units, I was going to go around the side to try and well, that objective looks easy because you only defend it with four warriors. It just, it just sounds like losing, when you killed, what was it, seven, when I went down to five level, you, losing the dice yeah. is more annoying than losing the... Well, as you pointed out quite early on, using, I was using half guard to get rid of levy and that, that was probably not wise because ultimately yeah, we're all still, works. yeah, we're still all saving on fives. Um, but no, I did enjoy it, and oh, yeah. um, and Bermond got his revenge for his father Egbert. So we've got to decide what will be. We will be earning a little bit of experience each after this, um, and then I'm sure we'll be back with some more saga in the future and some more battle reports for other games as well. Anyway, as always, thank you for taking the time to watch this. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. Remember to check out the links down below. You've got the membership links down there. You've also got a few other bits and bobs as well. Um, and then we will be back again soon with another one. So for now, I'll just say bye-bye and look after yourselves. See you later.